Hi, welcome to the Jupiter Tube Surf. My name is Charles. In this video, we're going to make our first content type for Jupiter 8. So, the first thing we need to do is go to where it says structure. Uh, we're going to click on the structure option. Then, we're going to go to where it says content types. So, here we can create our new content type. Now, to create our content type, we're going to go to a website called Shima.org. And basically what Shima does, it gives us a markup for web pages, which is super search engine friendly. Even Google, Microsoft, Pinterest, they all use this. So we're going to go to this option, Shimas. And you can see we have a list of different Shimas we could choose. We have a creative work type book, movie, musical and recipes, events, loads of different types we can choose. And this is, um, we're going to make a event content type. So we're, going to, so we're going to click on event and let's just highlight the event text, copy this and we'll go back to a content type and click on this blue option add content type. We're going to paste event in here, go back to our schema and we'll just copy all this text, paste it in here so it help us explain to people what this uh, event content type is for. Okay, so next we're going to click on Save and Manage Fields. We can see the first field we have at, by default is a body field. So let's have a look at the type of fields we need for event type. So the first field we have a rating field, attendee field, which we'll have to add, but we'll do that one later on. But the first one we're going to do is the most important is our door time, the time the event starts. So what we're going to do is go back to our Jupyter event content type and we're going to choose the blue button it says add field so here we could choose a new field so we're just going to click here and we're going to choose date and the reason why we're choosing date because we see it's a date time expected type so the next thing we need to do is add a label and for a label we'll go back to Ashima just copy this door time paste it in here and we can see now we've got a field name door time too. So we'll click on save and continue. So we're going to leave this as one value only. And we're going to leave this set to date and time. The other option we'd have would be date only. But because we need a specific time for the event, we're going to leave it as date and time. So let's click on save field settings. So let's set our label. We're just going to call this one door time. We'll go back to Ashima and we're going to copy this. Place it into for help text, and because all events have a date, we're going to make this a required field. And for a default value, we could choose current date or relevant date. I think we should choose current, so we click on this one. We click save and settings. So we can see now our door time field is now created for us. So let's have a look at what that actually looks like. So we're going to go to our um, manager and we're going to choose content. And we're going to choose add content and here we can see our event content type so we're going to choose it here and if we scroll down we can see the door time of our event and we can see a time so let's say it was the 26 and we could change the time to probably 7.30 okay so that's as uh, some text and we click on save and publish so here we can see our Jupyter event we created and we can see the door time underneath here. So thank you for watching my video. If you found it helpful, please get a like. And if you want to get updates from my Jupyter YouTube channel, just click on the subscribe button. Underneath this video is a link. It will take you to my online Jupyter course for Jupyter 8 tools for beginners step by step. This course will cover everything you need to quickly get started on with Jupyter 8. At the moment it's on free so you better get click on that link soon because it'll be going up to 19.99 and yeah so please check out my course and thank you for watching thank you for watching this video and hope you have a great week thanks for watching take care bye